Hello again, Sagittarius, and happy Valentine's Day to all of you. So before we begin your reading, I have two cards here for you. And from Lay Vampire, you pulled Call for Help. Reach out, need for backup, admit your needs. This card is about understanding that it is time to remove yourself from an atmosphere of danger and that you are not weak for seeking help. And that all you need to do is to ask for assistance and it will come. And this card is also about removing untrustworthy people from your life. Now, when you look at that with confusion from Chakra Wisdom, I feel like what's happening here is your guides are leading you into a safe area. Obviously, here there is a need for you to seek assistance for whatever is going on with you right now. Now, confusion from Chakra Wisdom says, through the willingness to be in confusion, we find clarity. There is nothing to solve. Meditation and quiet time will bring, will bring clarity to you. And then the key ideas here are allowing confusion, spiritual support, and finding love. Now, I feel like here looking at the two, you know, when you look at confusion, this card, it's... It, the story behind it is, you know, the guides are leading this person to a point of clarity. But right now they're surrounded with this feeling of confusion. So I feel like something's going on for you guys where you're needing some assistance right now from your guides. Here's the energy coming through. So, yeah, you know, when you look at that with confusion, definitely there is a need here to take a minute for some meditation. So the Four of Swords is taking a break. This is asking you to literally put up your swords and take a minute to reflect on your actions. But more importantly to me, this is like a need to really think about what's going on in your life right now. You know, and it, it may feel like you're feeling some confusion right now, but I feel like, you know, with what you pulled in the Oracle cards, you're going to have assistance in finding that clarity that you need right now. But you definitely need to take a break from what's going on and meditate and find those answers. Oh yeah, the past coming through. So the Five of Swords, to me, this is the bullshit card. There is no truth here. This is just bullshit arguments and it's mental. Now, you know, this could be conflict that you have dealt with before that's still lingering, or this is what you're doing to yourself mentally right now. But, you know, again, that's a no-win situation for you. And to have that coming through, it's, I'm hoping that it stays in the past. It's just an acknowledgement of why there's this need to take a break right now. Oh, yeah. Wow, Sag. So the hangman, the hangman is all about being in a limbo and needing to see things in a different perspective. This is about getting rid of limiting thoughts and beliefs. And yeah, I mean, it's so clear. It's so clear. It's like there's this feeling of not understanding what's going on right now, but you know, I mean, you, that's one of the biggest things with the Sagi readings is that you guys know, you know what's going on, you understand, but something on a deeper, more spiritual level needs to be understood right now. And with the hangman, yeah, it's no action, no action. Don't take any action. You need to sit back, allow yourself to be in that confusion. And I feel like through that meditative period, you're going to find the answers that you're looking for here. But definitely there's a need to see things differently. And it may have to do with the conflict that's from the past coming through. Future conditions. And I like seeing that because to me, you know, where you went from no action, now there's going to be action taking place. But with the Two of Wands, you know, it feels like it's a new start for you where there's conflict coming through. You're taking this moment to really think about what is going on and now you're ready to take action. So for me, the Two of Wands goes back to the magician. We can sit and think about doing something with our lives all we want, but if we don't take action, it may never manifest. And the Two of Wands to me is the beginning of that action. So you're looking to see something different than that conflict. Oh, your best path to follow. 
the devil. So when I see this, I immediately think that, you know, there's something that you're chaining yourself to that is no good for you. I mean, clearly. So, you know, in with the devil, the reason why we do this is because these people in these situations are familiar to us. But truly, you know, they're not bringing us fulfillment. What you're chaining yourself here, what you're chaining yourself to here is no good for you. You need to release yourself from that. So, you know, whatever caused that conflict, it's like you're really thinking about it and you're wanting to make a change here, but it's like you can't really expect something different to happen here if you don't release yourself from the things that do not serve your purpose. You know, and again, we do it because we think that these things are bringing us fulfillment, but truly they're not, you know, and again, the power there is you can release yourself from the things that are holding you down. I mean, you know, again, it's like there, there's this need for assistance here. And I feel like that's what you're doing right here is looking for that, that assistance from your guides, your angels, your higher self. You know, things may be confusing right now for you, but, you know, in order to see something different, you have to release yourself from the same patterns from before and in your environment. And I like seeing that because to me, it's like, you know, where again, where there's like no action being taken here, you know, there, it's for a purpose. You're getting, you know, that moment to find those answers, like that clarity is coming to you, your best path to follow is saying, hey, you have to release yourself from this so that you can see something different. And here in your environment, that is what is happening. So the Six of Swords is moving away from conflict. You're not quite there yet, and the swords are still in front of you, but you're doing what you need to do to move away from the things that are conflicting for you right now which is good to see. That's good to see. And it's in your environment. But you know, if you're going to move forward, you have to make sure you have to make sure that you release yourself from the things that do not serve you. Otherwise, you're just going to keep seeing the same thing over and over again. And truly, this isn't what you want to continue to see in your life. And again, call for help. I feel like that's what you're doing here. Oh, your hopes and your fears. Sag, I, I am so sorry that this is the reading that you're having for Valentine's Day. I hope that this is one of the ones where people tell me, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. Now, for me, looking at that, I feel like, you know, being in your hopes and your fears, the Three of Swords is about heartbreak, betrayal, and separation. Now, seeing it there, to me, is like... If you don't release yourself from the things that are not serving you, you're going to continue to see this heartbreak, conflict, and you know, it's all, look at the swords. It's like all mental, it's mental stuff going on right now, but you know better. And that's the kicker here. You know what's going on. You know what the situation is it, clearly here, you know that you need to release yourself from the things that are holding you back so that you can move forward and take this new action. But it's like, man, you know, if you don't do this, you're going to continue to see some heartbreak. That and the other part of it is, is, you know, I, I almost feel like, you know, with the devil showing up there, it's like, you know, are you really wanting to move away from this? You know? Like, you know, it's going to continue to bring you heartbreak, but it's like you want to move away from it. But the, at the same time, it's almost like you, you want to stay with it for a minute, but it's just not good for you. Oh, it's not good for you. And the outcome, shit. All right, Sag, I have to take a drink of wine here because this one to me is... This is difficult, and I really feel like the reason why this reading is showing up right now is because there may be some Sages out here that need to hear this. So, you know, and I know the last reading was really uplifting where you were connecting with that 
ancestral energy and having that guidance and now we're in this right now but clearly some of you need to hear this so I'm going to call it like I see it and we're going to work through this so now with the two of swords it's like blocking yourself emotionally it's blinding yourself to the situation and again you already know what's going on you know but it's like you don't want to see it and it's like you can't you, you're unwilling to make a decision and what worries me here is that if you don't this will have been for nothing and what was the point in seeking those answers asking for that help from your guides in this state of confusion to find that clarity if all you're going to do is continue to chain yourself to the same patterns and not make a decision on what you need to do and it, again you know with the three showing up where it is i feel like something's hurting you something is hurting you really badly right now and it's like you're wanting to stay with it but you know it's no good for you you know that but you still want it it's like you still want it there's a part of you that's like yeah i i, I can if i wanted to but i think i'm just going to stay with this right now because you're wanting to stay in it you know but again the devil is saying this is no good for you and with the two of swords you have to take that blindfold off you're gonna have to deal with this situation I mean, really, what are you expecting to happen here if you're not willing to take the action that's needed to get away from what is hurting you? Oh, sad. This one breaks my heart seeing this. But I, like, again, I feel like, you know, this is showing up for a reason. Some of you r may really need to hear this reading right now. There's conflict, there's heartbreak, there's separation, there's this movement away, chaining yourself to things that are no good for you. You're wanting to take that action, but at the same time, you're like, no, I'm not ready to make that decision yet. Like you're wanting to stay in it, even though you know that it's painful for you. So, you know, and I, it, it, bugs it, it just it bugs the shit out of me seeing the two of swords being the outcome because it's like what was this for then what was the purpose of even doing that you know but you know you know what's going on you know that what's happening right now is painful and that you can release yourself from it you have an opportunity to move away from this conflict but it's almost like you're not you're not ready to yet you want to but you don't but that <laughs> The devil is saying that you have to, you need to, you can release yourself from these things. Be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. So I feel like maybe for some of you, if you're dealing with some major conflict right now in a relationship, I think it's time to set aside your ego, get to know that person, be compassionate, not only to them, but to yourself and see things differently and then be willing to express love so that you can receive that love in your life. All right, Sag. So this is one of those readings where I'm okay with a bunch of thumbs down and people telling me I'm wrong. But I'm going to call it the way I see it because I feel like this is showing up for a reason. And there may be some of you out here that need to hear this right now. Now, there is some major conflict going on in your life right now and it is heartbreaking and you're wanting to move away from it but it's almost like it's so hard for you right now to take the first steps away from this suffering and again with the devil you have to release yourself from this but what worries me here is that if you don't you're just going to stay stuck in this situation and you're going to continue to feel this pain you have to make a clear decision here and you need to act on it immediately so that you can move away from this in your life. But again, with Saggy readings, you know, you know what is happening here. You know what this conflict is about. You see it happening and it's like this was almost for nothing because with the Two of Swords, it's like you're continuing to stay in it because it may be familiar to you. 
And you cannot do that. You need to release yourself from it. And I really feel like your guides are telling you right now that if you are dealing with some conflict and pain in your life, you need to seek that help. Do not be afraid to ask for assistance from your friends, from your family, the people that you trust, and from your guides. Because they're leading you to a spot right now where you can have an opportunity to find that clarity so that you can make a clear decision on what you need to do here. Now, with whispers of love, you know, again, with practice, compassion, and needing to see things in a different perspective, I think this is relating to you and needing to have compassion for yourself, for what you are going through right now. And then as far as those of you who are in a relationship, you know, get to know the person and be willing to express love. If you're having difficulty in a relationship and this is where the conflict is coming up, I think maybe if you take that time to get to know them and have some compassion, not only for them, but more importantly for yourself, things may start to change. But you also have to be willing to express love, even though this may be what you're feeling right now.